weekly update for Friday, June 3rd, and Mystery Solved from last week. Four months after her birth, uh, Matt and Paula Dow have given their second daughter a name, finally. Natasha. Uh, okay, that wasn't true. I, for I forgot Natasha's name. They had named Natasha back in November before she was born. She was born in February. So, uh, sincere apologies. Uh, so, we, we've got another look at, ah, oh, little Janice Pearl giving Natasha a little peck on the head. Uh, the pink flowers should have been a dead giveaway, Dave. So, what did I get in the mail today, I hear you asking, uh, since I was doing the weekly update today on Thursday. And uh, I got my bill for uh, my new shower head uh, from Schweitzer's Plumbing Center, the shower head and the installation. And uh, you can see there's service at schweitzers.ca. That's their phone number, 519-747-1819. Say hi to Laura when she answers. Uh, or you can go to the website, www.schweitzers.ca. And uh, you know what's really cool about getting stuff uh, in the mail from Schweitzer's Plumbing Center is they are still using my No Butt Crack Guarantee cartoon. That is not Homer Simpson facing the wrong way and... Uh, fixing somebody's plumbing and a universal that's not symbol uh, covering up the butt crack. That was Rudy Schweitzer's idea and he paid me a good buck to execute the no butt crack guarantee cartoon. Is it shallow of me when I open my bill from Schweitzer's and see the comment form that they have in each bill? with the no butt crack guarantee cartoon that I did on it? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a very, very shallow thing on my part, but I still think it's pretty cool. Hey, I did the no butt crack guarantee cartoon. The same as it's probably shallow of me, but I think it's really cool when Nathan shows up with his no butt crack guarantee Schweitzer's t-shirt. Uh, no, this isn't Nathan's. This is uh, this belongs to the Cerebus Archive, where it says uh, Schweitzer's Plumbing on the front, and uh, the No Butt Crack Guarantee cartoon on the back. Never got nominated for an Eisner Award. Um, never got no nominated for a Harvey Award. I still think it's pretty cool. The same as I'm sure it's equally shallow that much as I like my old style Schweitzer's Plumbing Center fridge magnet and have it on the fridge uh, in my office, actually on a filing cabinet, uh, I really, really prefer the no butt crack guarantee fridge magnet drawn by me. I hear from my older sister on my birthday, and one of the things I heard from my sister uh, on my 60th birthday this year uh, in a letter that she sent was, uh, how can you have brown hair when you're 60 years old? <laughs> and it's like, uh, I don't know. Um, the only time that I really think about my hair is when uh, I'm getting it shaved off at the barber's. and. I look around at it, uh, spilling down over the uh, sheet covering me, and uh, it's brown, and it's gray, and it's silver. And uh, I just go, all right, well, one of these times it's, uh, it's just going to stay silver, I guess. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, Neil Adams uh, told me at one time that uh, he wills his hair. To, uh, to turn brown. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't even doubt that for a minute that Neil Adams can do that, uh, actually is will his hair to be brown. Uh, I don't think I will my hair to be brown. I think it's one of those, uh, 
if uh, if things are really unsettled and I'm going, man, I don't know if I can keep going with this, uh, then your hair is going to come out uh, silver. But if you go, oh, no, everything's all right. Um, you know, if I die, I die, or whatever bad thing happens, uh, you know, God God will be done. Uh, and if I take that completely to heart, uh, then my hair tends to come in mostly brown, although. Uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit of silver on the side and not a lot of hair. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, that used to be about uh, a week and a half's worth of hair. That's now about two months worth of hair uh, growing in. That's probably uh, serves me right for the uh, follically challenged Neil Gaiman of Earth 2. Well, you want to be follically challenged, buddy, we can make you follically challenged. And so here I am, extremely follically challenged. Uh, Ramadan starts on Monday, so this is all getting shaved off uh, this weekend or uh, later on today. And uh, so you'll you'll be seeing bald Dave Sim, seriously follically challenged Dave Sim uh, next Friday, God willing. And uh, I hope we'll see many of you then. <laughs>